everybody, it's Kim and Oscar, and we are here again today for another stability ball workout. It's going to be lots of fun, really focusing on the core today. So grab plenty of dog treats and your stability ball. And just a safety reminder, you want to be doing this on a grippy surface like your carpet or a rug or a couple of yoga mats so your dog has protection and doesn't slip. And we will get started in just a second. are going to get started. Let's start with some spins and turns with your dogs just to warm up their spines real quick before we uh, grab the ball. So I have it to the side because Oscar likes to step on it when he sees it, but we want to make sure it's secure. So let's start with some spins and turns. Do about, let's do one in each direction and now we're going to do double time. So do two in each direction. Good. Good boy. There you go. And then the other direction. Two again. Back to back. Very good, Oscar. That was so good. Yes, it was. And let's do some figure eights real quick for about maybe 20 seconds. Just have them weave in between the legs. Very good. Yes, that was so good. Yes. All right. So we can grab our ball now. They got just a quick little warm up. We're going to do lots of moves today, really focusing on the core today. And what I want you to do is grab your ball. What we're going to do are some wood choppers. So feet are about shoulder width apart. Take your hands and the ball over to the right side. We're going to do a slight squat. Bring that ball over to the left leg, to the outer part. Down, reach, and up. Kind of pivot off that foot when you bring it up and down. 30 seconds. There you go. Get low in that squat. Bend those knees, sit back through those hips, and reach. We're warming up now. Pivot off that foot. For five, four, three, two, and one. All right, same thing, other side. The ball's on the right side or your left side. Bring it over to the outer part of your right leg and go. Down and up. Pivot off that right heel so you're on the balls of your feet. Reaching up and extending. There you go. Sit back through those hips, warming the legs up, the arms, and the core all at the same time. There you go. Give me five more. Three, two, and one. Very good. All right. Heart rate should already be getting up there. Now we're just going to do some alternating ones to the balls in the center now. Go left and right. So it's just a little squat. There you go. Tapping the ball on each side of the outer leg. Keep going, 10 more seconds. Bring that ball over your head each time. For four, three, two, and relax. Very good. All right. <laughs> yes, now it's our dog's turn again. So again, safety first. You want to kind of straddle the ball so it's secure in between your legs. And then we're just going to start with uh, dog paws up where they're going to stand on the ball. Let me get Oscar. 
Oscar, here's your treats. There you go. <laughs> there. So he's coming off from uh, coming up from the side. Let's have him hold. Good job. About 10 seconds or so. So we're going to do three sets of these. We're going to do center left and right. All right. And let's slowly release them. Three. Good job. And let's do the same thing. So I want you to hit center left and right. So depending on what your dog just did, you can have them uh, go to the right side, just opposite. Let's do our second set. So I'm just wrapping him around me to come up on this side. Same thing, paws up, trying to get them to find their balance. Very good. Right on top of the ball. There you go. So he had to reset himself. That's okay. Let's hold it for about 10 seconds. So keep talking to them, giving them treats. Hold it for a few more. Good boy. And release. Very good. Oh, good job. All right. So do for your last set, whichever side you didn't do. So that for us is the center. So I'm going to try and line him up and bring him up. Good boy. Same thing, we're just holding. Let's hold for about 10 more seconds. Very good. Good. And then, while they're holding, I want you to just kind of have them shift their neck to the right and then to the left. All that does is slightly shift their weight just a little bit. There you go, they're still holding, hopefully. You can have them look a little bit upwards. There you go. And then a little bit downwards. You don't really want their legs moving right now. Just, just their upper from their neck and head up. Very good. And let's slowly bring them down. Oh, very good, Oscar. Yes. Good job. Yes, you always want to make training fun. All right, it's back to us now. So we're going to do a little bit of balancing poses now. Good boy. <laughs> All right, so what I want you to do is stand to the left of your ball. We're going to do both sides. So what I want you to do from here is place your right foot onto the ball. Let me move them out of the way so you can see me better. So just like this, you're standing up nice and tall, chest is up, and all we're going to do is bring that foot in and out. Just like this, kind of kicking out the heel, bringing the toes in. There you go. So we're just putting that weight into the left side. So if your balance isn't that great, you can hold on to a wall. There you go. Let's do this for about 10 more seconds. We're really trying to pull that ball in all the way onto the top of your big toe and pushing it out all the way onto your heel. Let's do two more. And then that next time you bring it in, what I want you to do is try and scooch it all in. Now if you need to reset, that's fine. We're just bringing it forward. We're gonna do that same thing. Onto the heel, onto the big toe, but this time it's going forward. Still working on the balance. Take your time with these. And breathe. Breathing is important, <laughs> very important. There you go, we'll do about five more. Let's bring it in and out. In and out. And this time, hold it up here where your knee is bent, just like this. Make sure you guys can see me. All right. Now from here, what I want you to do is just have your dog walk under. If they can, otherwise just hold it. Ask them. Nope, nope, ah. Under. There you go. So that's why you gotta use your verbal cues because he was getting ready to walk up. Now I'm just going to have him circle around, around. Again, this takes practice, so if your dog is not doing this, that is okay. You can just hold this, especially if you're feeling unsteady. Let's see. One more wrap around. Awesome. Around. Around. 
But the main thing is we do not want you falling onto your dog. That would be bad. All right, and release. Very good, you should feel that difference in that right leg, that thigh area. Should be feeling nice and warmed up. Good boy. So now we're going to do the same thing on the left leg. So just step to the right of the ball. <laughs> Not yet. So he's getting ready, so all I'm doing is throwing a treat away and that kind of helps him go the other way. And leave me space so there's safety for both of us. But we're just going to start with the same thing with the left leg, just kicking it out to the left and the right, same thing. Push that heel into the ball, bring it up onto the toes. Stay. Stay. So we always want to include the dogs as much as possible, but we also want to teach boundaries. So that way when we're doing it's our turn, that they're not in the way, you know, making us trip or them trip. There you go. Keep pushing it, extend that leg out, and bring it in for five more seconds. Working on the balance, still standing up tall. Next one from here, shift that ball, and a little light roll. Now you're in the center, same thing. Onto the heel, onto the toes. There you go. Working the thighs right now. Again, nice slow breaths. That right leg is engaged by just keeping your body upright. We got about 10 more seconds. Bring it in and out. Five more seconds. In and out. And that next one, hold it back up at the center, leave enough space. This time, try and include your dog. Again, work on those verbal cues so they're not coming up on the ball. You're working on your balance as well because you're kind of shifting left and right and behind you to get them to wrap while holding onto the ball without it rocking all over. So again, this just takes practice and coordination and communication. One more wrap around and release. Very good, Oscar. Yes. All right. How did you guys like those balancing things? I think we will do one more balance thing just for fun. What I want you to do now is stand behind your ball. We're going to start with the right leg. Can you see how it's the, <laughs> that I have my, don't have my balance. Um, we're going to start with uh, just putting that uh, top of your foot on it. And now what I want you to do, you're still standing up nice and tall. You're bringing that knee in and out. Working on the balance again. The last balancing thing. Even though when working with the stability ball, you kind of work on your balance the whole time. But this is the last stand-up balancing thing. Stay. Give me about 10 more seconds. All right, and let's switch legs nice and slow. Get your balance, place that left leg up, top of the foot. When you're ready, push that knee in and bring it back together. So as you see, Oscar's in front of me, so all I'm doing is asking for Paul. Again, like I said, always include them when you can. There you go, good job. Keep your balance, keep your chest up. The last 10 seconds. There you go. Give me three, two, and one. You did it. Yay. Good job. All right. What we're going to do next is for your dog. What we're going to do is uh, straddle the ball again. There you go. He knows the drill. From here, you're doing a pause up. And then what we're going to do is dog up down, so think of it as like a plank up and down. So you're going to bring them down onto their forearms and then have them step back up onto paws up. So we're going to do this for about 30 seconds. Nice and slow, we want them to get their grip, bringing it down. 
and then coming all the way back up on the pause up. Good boy. Back up. Take your time with this. Oscar's older, so we're going slower. But a lot of times when you do things slow and controlled, it's so much better than just fast and not worrying about form, because that's how you can get hurt. Last 10 seconds. Stay. Take that left leg, 
and try and kick it out like that. And let's try on the other side. There you go. Nice, slow and controlled. Just shifting your weight on to one side. If you're feeling rocky, that is okay. You're just learning how to position yourself onto the ball. Let's do the last 10 seconds. Yeah, I'm just going to control. I'm just shifting that weight all on one side first before I even pick up your leg. Now, if you're still not here, I know we're almost done with this, then you can just hold it here. That was fine. All right, let's all bring it back to this position and then roll up nice and slow. Very good. All right, that wasn't too bad, all right? From here, let's just inhale and exhale. Give me two more. Inhale. That next one, exhale all the way down towards your feet and hold it. Let your head and neck just relax, sink into the ball. And roll up nice and slow. So it's good to kind of take a few breathers just in case you're holding your breath in during that little circuit. All right, next up, we're gonna do some uh, things with the dogs. We're going to have them do their paws up. And then from here, we're going to have them do a bow. So compared to when they were doing up down, where it looked like this, and I'm bringing it up. This time, we're trying to keep those feet going in unison where they're going down and up compared to the up downs where it was more of a climb being motion. Um, so, we're going to stand up. Again, straddle the ball, place it against the wall. You always want that ball secure. I love you, Oscar. And then, before you even move on to that movement, make sure your dog has a good position. You want them where their back legs aren't too wide so they don't have a chance of doing the splits. Should be doing this on a uh, grippy surface like a rug or a yoga mat. And then from here, once they're stabilized, we're doing a bow. That wasn't the best bow. Um, let me see. Bow. And up. So we're trying to keep those front feet stable and just bringing it down. So I'm just doing a little one. You're trying to bring that treat now closer to their chest. So you're kind of letting it kind of sink in. Now you see it. See how compared to those up downs, he's just bringing that shoulder in or shoulders back, I should say. Very good. So the nose is just coming into this area. We'll do about two more. Very good. Good job. You can see, he's, you can see the ball kind of already shaking some more. That was good, good job. Yes. And then from here, if they need a little rest, you can give them a quick break. Otherwise, just let's have them hold it. And then let's try a couple paws and shakes. Good job. So you're not holding their feet, you know, heavy. You're just letting them slightly shift their weight. Oh. And hopefully they can alternate. Oh. <laughs> let's do this about for 15 more seconds. Give me the other paw. I know you like that paw. Other paw. <laughs> oh. Good job. There you go, that was good. And release. And again, if your dog is ever ready to release beforehand, let them. That's their way of saying they're tired or they need to reset so they have proper form or they just need a break, okay? That's totally okay. You can always just wait until we're ready uh, or when you're ready to join back in with us. All right, that was pretty good. Um, let me get him last couple of treats. Uh, what we're going to do, um, we're gonna do one more thing with the dogs and then it's going to be ab circuit for us and then it already be time to stretch. So, he loves cleaning out the treat bag. There's one left. Let me grab a few more treats. So, I always like to say, uh, mix in a variety of treats, like low level ones like their dog kibble and then more high value treats like a trail mix and that just really helps especially training at home 
not only to watch calories, but then they don't know what they're getting, so they're always, it's like a guessing game, so that just helps. All right, what we're going to do now is have a seat on the floor. All right, what I want you to do from here is place your feet onto the ball. So they're slightly, let me just shift just a little bit. So they're not right on top of the ball. They're kind of, uh, again, straddling it. Um, so it's secure. And then what we're going to do first is before we include the dog, so I just have the treats in my hand because um, I left my treat bag over there. Um, what we're going to do is just some crunches. So from here, bring those hands behind your head. And then what we're going to do is just regular crunches. Down and up. of doing what we just did. Otherwise, the other option is, let me try and get him on the other side. And we're going to do a pause up. So again, you always want to set them up for success. There you go. So what we're going to do now is try and do this where they're holding it, grabbing a few treats, and now we're going to do full sit-ups. Stay. So you're going to sit all the way up and give them a treat or a pet. So let's do this for 30 seconds. You're really trying to power up. Again, still focused on your form and your dogs. You can do what we just did. If you're not ready yet, we got about 10 more seconds. <laughs> he left a little early, so I'm just giving him a trip to the side. I'm still trying to sit up all the way. Give me three, two, and relax, very good. All right, <laughs> you guys will have to let me know if you did that combo move, because it is a little fun. Uh, that's the first time I actually tried that move with him, so he did pretty well. All right, so next next up, you're going to roll back. Hands can be behind your head, they can be out to the side, whatever feels most comfortable. Now your feet are coming all the way onto the side, and what we're going to do is just lift the ball up and down. Let's do this first. Watch out, Oscar. <laughs> Down and up, working the lower abs. Now what I want you to do is just try to pull that ball in up towards your head. Trying to lift those hips up, okay? Try and lift those hips up slightly off the ground if you can. You have about 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, and relax. Very good. You should feel that in your lower abs. There you go. If you want to just quick stretch, you can just place your feet on the ball, hold it here, and breathe. So from here, we're going to do some bridge roll-ups. So what you're going to do is your shoulders are planted onto the ground. So you got enough space between your ears and your uh, shoulders. You're going to pull that ball in towards your butt. You're coming onto those heels. And then from here, we're inhaling up in a bridge position. So you should look like this. All right. So from here, you can just stay here if you're still trying to find your balance. Otherwise, the other option is to straighten those legs and pull that ball back in while staying in bridge position. So keep working on this. We'll do it for about 30 seconds, whichever option. Whether you're just holding that bridge pose or you're actually doing some bridge curls. So this is working the hamstrings. So this is a great alternative to the hamstring curl machine at the gym. 
But it's working the same thing. Really engaging the glutes and the hamstrings. Almost done, five more seconds. Almost done, two, and one, and relax. Drop those hips, kind of just let your ball uh, come under your calves, and just relax real quick. There you go. Should really feel that in your legs if you're doing those leg curls. Yes, so we'll do a quick stretch here. Just take that left leg, cross it over the right knee, and then pull that ball into your chest. So we're doing that figure four stretch. There you go. If you want a little deeper stretch, just bring that ball out more onto your heel. Go for it. <laughs> I got you. And let's switch. Extend that ball out. Bring that right foot over the left knee, and then bring that ball in and stretch it out. Quick stretch, we have a couple more ab exercises, and then we'll be all done. So you see Oscar just kind of staring me down for treats. Um, but yeah, again, like I said earlier, you always wanna try and teach your dog to respect your boundaries so they're not licking you or pawing you in the head so you don't get scratched up. And release. Very good. I love you. Yes. You know, you can always give them pets whenever. Alright, two more ab exercises left. So we're just going to do some leg and arm passes. So those arms are extended out behind you. Those feet are going to straddle the ball. You're going to transfer it to your hands and bring it down and up. This is one full minute now. So the main thing with these is you're trying to go as low as you can, but you don't want your lower back to start arching off the ground. If you feel like that's happening, then just don't go as low. And with these, with each pass, focus on your inhale and your exhale. Pointing those toes, bringing that ball over your head each time. We're at the halfway mark. Keep transferring and keep breathing. Almost done, guys. Fifteen seconds. Then one ab thing left, and then we stretch. The last two, the last one, and relax. Very good. Good boy. All right. Give you guys a few seconds rest. So put your dog while we're resting, if they're by you. All right. So the next step exercise we're doing are dead bugs. Love this exercise with the ball. It's pretty gentle, but effective. So you're just bringing your feet behind the ball, the hands are in front of the ball. And then all we're doing is taking the left leg and the right arm and alternating. So it's opposite arm, opposite leg, pointing those toes with each rep. We're going for one minute is the last thing so let's finish strong. Keep alternating. Keeping that ball balanced in the center. Inhaling and exhaling. Again, if you ever have to take a break, take a break. You don't want to jeopardize form by pushing through. You're at the halfway mark. Point those toes. Come on. We're almost there. I feel this. I'm sure you guys feel this. Last 10 seconds. Come on. Reach. Other side. Point those toes. For five. Four. Three, 
two, and relax. Bring that ball down, just place it on your belly. Let's focus on our breath as we start to cool down. So just leaving the ball in the belly kind of helps you see how deep of inhales you are taking. We're gonna spin about roughly a minute here. Letting that ball sink in to your rib cage. As we begin to cool down, bring the heart rate back down. Especially after all that ab work. About five more. Ball should have a slight rock as you inhale, or when you exhale, I should say, as you're pushing it all out. Give me one more. And relax. All right, from here, we're just going to roll over onto the side. We're not done with the ball yet. And really stretch out the abs since we just used uh, our abs a lot for the last like five minutes and we worked the quads a lot today um, so all you're going to do is come up onto the ball and then you're rolling back like a back bend bring those arms over your head and again just melting into the ball you should just feel a release of tension from your neck and upper shoulders. You should feel the stretch in your abs and your legs. If you need to play around with it, you can kind of rock back and forth. You can bring those arms out to the side. That's a great shoulder stretch. Again, just sinking and melting into the ball. Let's hold here in about 10 more seconds, whether your arms are out to the side or over your head, whichever feels better. You can kind of scoot up onto your heels, come down closer to your head. You'll get a lower ab stretch as well as the hip flexors and quads. That should be feeling pretty good right now, especially if uh, You've been sitting a lot. This really releases the tension. And slowly roll out of it. Just having a seat on the ground. I should feel pretty good right now. That felt good for me. We're just roll that ball out of the way now. Now we're done with it. Um, we're just going to finish probably the last minute uh, well, focusing on our breath and giving the dogs a little massage. So, so I'm just going to scoot over to Oscar. You see he's relaxed. And then since we worked on a lot of their upper body today with those shoulder up downs and the valves on the ball, focus on massaging that area right now. And when you're doing your massages, you're just doing nice, gentle, maybe medium pressure if you have a muscular dog. And you're just doing kind of circular movements with your fingers and your thumb. So you should feel their, their muscles. That's who's getting real muscles. <laughs> Now he's laying on one side, so I'm only going to get one side right now. I'll do the other one later on. You can still do a full body massage, but just yeah, put more focus in that upper body. And then while we're doing that, you're just focusing on connecting, finding, finding your breath before we finish the day. Now I'm just picking this top leg up. You always want to use two hands to stabilize the joints. And again, I'm just getting into that armpit area. Some dogs, you know, may not like this or tolerate it. That's fine. It's all what works well for you. Other 
guys, we are all done. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's workout. Let me know in the comments and I will come check those. Otherwise, again, thank you so much for joining me and we'll have some more workouts soon.